Hey guys, Jenny here, welcome. I'm so excited to share with you this quick meal out of my pantry. It is store-bought jarred pasta sauce, it is frozen meatballs, and a little bit of ground sausage and beef from my lasagna soup recipe that I did a few weeks ago. If you haven't watched that, check it out. So yummy. I'm super excited to use up those extra ingredients that I put in my freezer for a later date. Now we're here and I actually need them because tonight is normally taco night and we're not able to make today because I don't have all the ingredients. In our shopping order, we didn't get our ground beef, so tonight is the night where I'm going to kind of improvise and make a quick meal out of my pantry. I'm really excited that this came in handy and I can put together a quick meal, so let's get into it. If you're new here, I'm Jenny. I help other busy moms with hectic lives show you my process and what I do to make things easier and hope that these hacks are helpful for you applying in your own home, so let's get into it. All right guys, I have all my ingredients together. I'm just gonna run through them real quick with you. Primal Kitchen, I've heard great things about them as a company in terms of clean ingredients, really great non-GMO, organic, just really clean. You know, I can't do it all the time, who really can? But I just try to incorporate as many fresh, holistic, non-toxic type foods and ingredients when and where I can. That's just my own journey in terms of nutrition and being clean, but also just feeding my family that way also. I understand not everybody can do that. This is just to demonstrate how quick and easy it can be to throw together just something um, that I already have in my freezer and stocked in my pantry. It's just a go-to meal that just takes a handful of minutes to put together. So I'm getting the help from a jarred pasta sauce here and we've not tried it before. We'll find out. The other thing is noodles, again, store-bought. This is another great clean product. This is Live G Free. We are not gluten free. I am not gluten free. I love carbs. I love my bread. But for this pasta, it is made with organic brown rice and quinoa. So we're gonna give it a try. Again, it can be whatever pasta you have on hand. And then again, getting help from the grocery. I've got frozen meatballs here. These are the ones we like the most. So these are just my normal meatballs I have in the freezer at all times for this very purpose. And then I know I mentioned earlier from my lasagna soup recipe, putting that together. This is the remainder of that half pound Italian sausage and half pound ground beef put together frozen that I made extra. So it actually comes in handy tonight so I can make a nice hearty pasta sauce. For me, I'm just trying to build in as much protein as possible, which is why I'm going with the meatballs and also using this. Who knows, most people would probably do one or the other. I don't care, I'm gonna do both. So right now I have a pot for my water that I'm gonna fill up and get boiling. I've got a pan that I'm gonna turn on medium low heat to start heating up my leftover beef and sausage and then I'll put in the pasta sauce and get that going. The other thing we're gonna do today is for the meatballs, most of them go in the oven, probably microwave. I haven't tried the microwave, I'm not gonna, but they take forever in a conventional oven and I hate doing it, but it tastes way better. So instead of that, I'm actually gonna use the help of the air fryer to help speed this whole process up. So I'm gonna get my water going, all my pans going, get my heat on and we'll get this going. All right, I'm going to get my pan on low here, get that preheated to get my beef and pasta sauce in there. I'm gonna get this one going on high, get some water in here to get my needles going. There's my water, get that going. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the beef in first. I'm actually gonna turn it up to about a medium. Okay, I'm over here at the air fryer and I'm going to get my meatballs started. Um, if they cook and get finished before everything else is finished, I'm just gonna pop them in with the sauce and keep them nice and warmed up until everything's ready. I'm actually gonna start with about um, eight minutes and then see where we're at, give it a little shimmy and shake. Probably go in for maybe 12, 14 minutes. That's, I'm gonna start these off at about seven or eight minutes and go from there. I'm hoping eight minutes will give us a good start. So I have a Ninja dual zone air fryer here, so it's got two compartments. You can actually cook things separate at separate times and temperatures, or you can actually do it all at one temperature and time, which is what I'm gonna do today. I'm just gonna get them both going so I don't cook them again. So I'm just setting on air fry here, I'm getting my temperature. I just go ahead and do hi. And again, I'm gonna let this go for about eight minutes to start. All right, got that going. Get back over here at the stove. My water is getting bubbly, not quite uh, boiled just yet. Oh boy, I'm gonna 
kick that up a notch to get that big old chunk defrosted here. All right, we're starting to get some sizzle here and this is starting to defrost a little bit. All right, we are at a full boil here, so I'm gonna get the noodles out. Alrighty, this is eight servings, this whole bag, so I'm gonna do a little bit more than half. I forgot to salt the pot, I always do. Heavy salt in the water. All right, that seems pretty defrosted, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the sauce in there. It smells really good. And turn my heat down. All right, so what do you do with this? Do you get OCD like I do? I need to rinse this and dump it. So I'm gonna save the, some of the pasta water so that I can rinse this out and use all that. Cause I just can't stand to throw it away. I don't know, you tell me in the comments, what do you do? I'm back here at the air fryer. Let's give these a check here. All right, I'm gonna give them a few more minutes. Pop in a little bit, so I'm going to stir and turn it down. The key here is keep it pretty low so you don't burn the bottom. You don't wanna get crusties in the bottom of your pan. It'll ruin the whole thing. A little temperature check. Oh yeah. All right, we've got about four more minutes on this. I'm gonna wait a few and then I'm gonna pull out a little bit of the water here so that I can use it to zhuzh in here. If I don't pull it out beforehand, I will forget and drain the whole thing. And of course, what is pasta without a salad? So why I have this going, I'm gonna put salad together for me and my husband. All right, little croutons here. Some of you might think that's a shame. We are not going to use all of these. We try to save on calories where we can. So this, you could keep it and use it as breadcrumbs in a meatloaf or something like that. That'd be a great way to reuse this. All right, I'm gonna do a taste test here. Oh yeah. Mm. Yep, those are done. Oh, water, see? I almost forgot. I told you I'd forget, here we go. All right, full transparency. You put the hot water in the glass, it's gonna be hot. So use a pot holder or something. So you don't burn yourself. Zhuzh. There we go. Okay, now let's drain the pasta. Alrighty, I'm just checking the temperature. On my meatballs, make sure they're okay to come out. They are, so I did a total of about, I don't know, 13 to 15 minutes. Meatballs, bring into the sauce. I'm just gonna stir this in a little bit, let all those flavors kind of come together for a little bit as I finish getting this together and call the kids in the kitchen to start setting the table for us. Tonight I am just gonna use this packet here. Sometimes we top our salads with different dressing depending on our moods. Parmesan on the salad. I'm not gonna use it all on the salad, but I am gonna use it as a topper to finish. 